All right, you have heard from uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar earlier. What about hearing now from... He doesn't know this, but you're going to hear from Kurt Rambas. I knew you were going to bring me up here, chick. I knew it. I wanted to be up here. Let's hear it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said it the, uh, the year that we won it, four years ago, that if it wasn't for you fans, we never would have got even close to this. And it's the reason that you cheer for us and come out game after game that we won it again this year. Thank you very much. We appreciate y'all. You know, something just came to my mind sitting there, and I don't think any of us in the media have thought of it before. When can you remember a team celebrating its 25th anniversary in a city such as we are with the Lakers winning a world championship. This might be number one. Well, I guess I gotta give in to you. Here he is, Magic. Thank you all for uh, giving me support and the team support. It's a long time since last season. And, uh, well, I should say a long time since three seasons ago since we've been back here. But it feels great. It feels good. And I hope you enjoy it as much as us. And let's try to do it again next season, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, because of the crush down front, people are being injured by the minute. We're going to bid you so long for one year, and then we'll see you right back here next June. Thank you, and goodbye. See you at the forum. Bye-bye. Back up, please. Quickly back to the podium there. Magic obviously enjoyed this as much as anybody out here today. And he showed a couple of moves at the podium I think he could be thrown out of the game for. <laughs> <laughs> he was started up. You know, we were talking about the White House. One of the great thrills, I'm sure, for the players. Let's take a look at what took place yesterday in the White House. Shortly after 2 p.m. yesterday afternoon, the Lakers entered the Rose Garden of the White House. You can see the players coming in. Kareem preceded this group along with Pat Riley. They had a private conversation with the president in his own office. Then the president was introduced. He came out. He shook hands with all the players as he entered the Rose Garden. Then he addressed the small crowd on hand. These comments were offered. It was a great pleasure to welcome all of you to the White House. Your entire championship series down to yesterday's great win was an inspiration. 
And all of you showed America what pride, determination, and guts can accomplish when they're combined with some of the best talent on the floor. And Kareem gave the president a Laker jersey <laughs> right there with number one. He said that he, while he wasn't a Republican, he was still a constituent. There was uh, Magic Johnson, had a basketball for the president. Kurt Rambis was there. Coach Pat Riley gave the president a hat and a shirt. And he seemed, the president, had seemed to have a little bit of a good time there with all the proceedings going on. As he left over there and started to walk away, there were several hecklers in the crowd. Pretty good said, dribble there. What about there. the SALT Treaty? What about this? What about I Count Von Bulow or whatever? <laughs> he says, I'm here to talk about basketball. Well, he's the first fan, after all. You know, That's you mentioned true. he and uh, Jerry Buss had quite a dialogue going there inside the White House later on. Pat Riley. Pat, Pat Riley. Riley had quite a dialogue with the president. They were going back and forth, and he kept saying, you know... When you come across on that plane of yours from with the White House and you're coming out to spend some time at your ranch in Santa Barbara, you, Mr. President, might like to reflect that you happen to live in a state where we are the national champions. Hey, that's a very <laughs> he good was point. really giving it to him. That's a very yeah. good point. Having a lot of fun. Let's switch over to Fred Rogan. Fred is over where the crowd used to be. <laughs> Where's Fred? In the garden. In the middle of the cleanup. <laughs> Hi, Fred. I made it. I survived the mob. They're gone. <laughs> everybody is cleared out. I don't know. Did you ha guys have a chance to see the horses coming through here yes, and clearing everybody out? Luckily, we were uh, cleared out in an orderly fashion. As you can see, most of the fans have started to leave. Here's a gentleman here. Come on in here. Were you at the parade? Yeah. Were you at the parade? Yeah. You were at the parade? Yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was all right. All right. Uh, were you involved in any of the pushing or shoving going on? No. You weren't? No. Not a very talkative guy, are you? No. All right. Thank you very much. Obviously, a young man <laughs> that did not have a great deal to say. Come on in here, Celtic Buster. Did you have a good time today? Oh, yeah. Very what, good time. What is your name? David. What do you do for a living? I work at Sears. Congratulations, you win the radar range. Thank you very much for being here. Everybody's had a good time at the parade, and you can see, we'll call these folks down here the survivors of the parade. Sir, can I tell you something? This is live television. Look up here. Do you have anybody you want to say hello to? Oh, yeah, I'd like to say hello to my wife and uh, three kids at home. You know, that's all. And, uh, hey, all right, let go. All right. Four. All right. Yeah. That's it, guys. Take it back. Well, we got it up there. Right up. John, why didn't he give them Hall of Shame shirts? I don't know, but there? the crowd is reforming around Fred now, so we better get him out of there. All right, guys. Thank you, uh, Fred Rogan, Stude, and Kirsty. We're going to wrap it up here. We'll have highlights, of course, on News for LA at 4 o'clock of everything that went on here today, including the celebration in Inglewood. So we thank you for watching and joining us on Lakers. How sweet it is. And it is sweet. See you.